talk about that and how commonly they're used and who's a candidate for this? So the penile prosthesis uh, is the oldest form of organic therapy that we have for erectile okay. dysfunction. Okay, Prior to the 1970s, really, the majority of erectile dysfunction was treated by psychologists, psychiatrists, mental health professions, because mm -hmm. we really thought that this was a predominantly mental health disease. Nineteen Mid-1970s is when the first penile implants came out, uh, and it was a game changer, because now we had something organic that we can use to be able to treat erectile dysfunction. Okay. Uh, we have here in the lineup the, all, all the different types of penile prostheses that exist at this point. Uh, there are two major companies that make them, and there are really two major kinds of, of penile prostheses. Uh, one would be the malleables, which are these two malleable rods that go inside the penis, and the other would be the three-piece inflatable penile prostheses, which is a combination of a reservoir, two cylinders, and a pump. Mm -hmm. okay? So how do they work? So the way that these implants work, and I have here a model in my hand of the actual penile prosthesis, okay? Okay. So we have, this is the reservoir, which is normally filled with saline, okay? Mm -hmm. The saline is an inert fluid that, if this does break for whatever reason, it leaks out, it's not going to hurt the patient. This is somewhere deep in the pelvis or hidden somewhere under the actual rectus muscle, so people usually don't feel this. Then you have the pump, which is this right here. This is the pump that's used to be able to get fluid from the reservoir into the cylinders. So every time you press this button, fluid's going in from the reservoir into the cylinders. On the top, you have another button to deflate. And then, of course, you have the two cylinders. We have two corpora cavernosum inside our penis. These two cylinders will go into the penis, and the penis is deep and external. And you put this inside the corpora cavernosum, surrounded by the tunica albuginea, which is the second toughest membrane in your body, and that's what holds it in place. So this is, it's a mechanical thing. You have fluid goes from the reservoir. When you pump it, it goes into the cylinders. It gets as rigid as you'd like it to be. You have intercourse once you're done. You press the button, you grab the actual phallus in your hand, and you push back, and all the fluid goes back into the reservoir. So this is, but this is inserted surgically into the patient? This is a surgery, absolutely, yes. Okay. It is irreversible as well. So this, we're talking about a half an hour to an hour long surgery, ambulatory usually, so people come in and out of the same day. Okay. Um, it takes about four to six weeks for them to heal to be able to start using it. But yes, this is a surgery.